Hey, I'm turning 50 in November, and in my lifetime, we've averaged about 4% inflation every year. Before that, my grandfather's generation had uh, the last 50 years an average 1.7%. Is there any chance that we can get back to that, or should we forget it? Gosh, Matt, those are my numbers. I just punched them out on Bloomberg about an hour ago. And, uh, <laughs> you're right on in terms of historical levels and the recent levels. Um, is there any chance? I, I don't think there's much of a chance to get back to 2% uh, absent a severe deflation, which uh, I don't see at the moment. I think policymakers come to the rescue. Um, but I, it's a 3 to 4% environment going forward for me. The problem is that uh, we have substantial deficits, and as mentioned before, the deficits probably increase year by year as we move along the decade. Um, the, the problem also is, is that uh, you know the Fed is still providing substantial liquidity to the markets. Yes, real interest rates are high, but um, I, it's going to be a hard slog to, to move back down to 2 percent. I think Powell knows it. Um, they talk it. But I, I think 3% is an objective goal going forward. Should 2%, though, still be the goal, regardless of how long it might take to get there? And just looking at the data, it looks like it's going to be longer than thought. Should the Fed really be married to this 2% target? Well, uh, not yet, because we're moving down closer to it. Um, you know, the minute we get to uh, three and bounce back up to four, if that's the hypothetical, then, you know, that's when the Fed worries. Um, I think they've got a lot of things going forward uh, for them at the moment. They've got the CRB index, which is down 15 percent from the peak, as opposed to nearly up 50 percent in the prior period of time. And so um, commodities themselves are deflationary. It's way Wages and uh, labor that uh, you know present the problem, and to the extent that uh, you know that some of the uh, indexes and indices and Thursday uh, types of numbers in terms of uh, jobs, you know we're moving back up in a uh, direction which would lower. Uh, wages, but uh, you've got to get wages, as Powell would probably agree, you've got to get wages down to about 3 percent on average because productivity, when you take pro productivity out of wages, um, at 1 to 1.5 uh, percent produces that 2 percent level. But we're far from 3 percent on wages. We're up at 5, 5.5 percent, and, a half percent, and uh, we're going to have to see some progress there.